what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? These areas that these police have to go into to protect us have an abundance of people who just don't care. I know there's some good people in them areas. There has to be in order for people to be living in their homes, paying bills and whatever else they want. And it's not everybody in them areas. But we have to stand up for ourselves. We can't just expect somebody else to do all for us. We got to give a little bit too. Police call, they come on into the area. Everybody stand around quiet, don't say nothing, won't get involved. That's got to stop. Police don't know what's going on. Y'all know what's going on because one of y'all called them. And as soon as somebody make the wrong move and somebody gets shot, then it's the police that's wrong. Come on, people. The police ain't wrong. Sometimes you get a, 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 a bad egg in the dozen. But these police is coming in areas of drugs and all kinds of stuff, child molestation. They're coming in these areas and they don't know what to really expect. They know what overall, but they don't know what maniac that came into there and acting like a crazy person. So they come ready. They come gun flipped out of the case. Come on, they want to go home tonight too. They're human beings too. But they supposed to take all of our stuff and I say Al because I used to be a criminal myself. I used to be in prison and all that kind of kind of. I got past all of that. Took me 20 years, been 20 years. But people, the police can't do the job by themselves. I remember when I was a young girl in Washington, D.C., the police knew us. I mean, they, they would come up, sit on the porch, talk to us, stop at the gate, talk to us. It was friendly. Police are friendly. If they don't think they got to protect their back every second of the day, they ain't got time to be friendly. If they let their guard down and then they shot, come on. Again, they want to go home at night too. And this Black Lives Matter, all lives matter to me. When I was out there and needed help to get back from hell, White people was the only ones that helped me and my sister. That's right. Total strangers I didn't even know came to my rescue, gave me everything I needed, a car, a place to stay, and most of all, they gave me love and respect. They didn't ask anything of me. Not really. I chose to do all that I did. God is a wonderful God, people. All we got to do is try to get him in our hearts so we can change our hearts, so he can change our hearts. That's all he wants us to do is stop this foolishness out there, drugging and stealing and molesting children and all this kind of carrying on. And then when the police call, y'all stand up there like your innocent little lambs. Come on. Police want to go home too. And we need to think more about our black on black crime. I mean, you barely even hear that because ain't nobody going to give you no check for black on black crime. You just dead. But as soon as a white cop shoots you, you run and get a lawyer. Come on. The cop wouldn't even came if it wasn't a crime being committed. You call them 911. That mean a crime is being committed. That mean that cop is supposed to come with everything he got to make sure don't nobody get shot. But sometimes things happen. When a cop tell you to put your hands up, they should go up. Especially if you got a gun, gun on you. You ought to have your hands up. Wait till they give you the directions to what they want you to do. Now you got pissed off about the country singer that got on there. And I don't think I need to tell you where to put your wallet at. You want to live, don't you? You better use common sense. 
and do what you got to do in order for you to go home at night, be you criminal or cop. Thank you. All lives matter. All lives matter. All lives matter.